Hey, right, try this on free. One, two, three. Try this. Hey, Jeff, you off now, bro. Come on, boys. Let's go. Head up, bro. Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. As you would have just as seen, we have some great news. We have partnered up with Lyle and Scott for the new 23-24 season. This is only one of our new kits, so do not get carried away. There's still so much to see. Today's opponents are hacks. Last time we played them was in a cup final of the SFL, in which we came out 1-0 victors. And the nine tries to get control of it. Eri with a little fake shot. Eri takes it onto the left and Eri lets it fly. Oh my days. If you're new around here, in this fixture, there've been some great goals scored. Take a look at these. Uh, goes for the one, two, sets it out here to the 35. And oh my days. He's able to cut inside, looks to have a shot. It's deflected, comes in here to Benny. Lovely touch around the corner. And Benny makes it 1-1. One, one. From this free kick, it's Mr. Set Piece. Mike's curling one into the box. And Joseph there, another free header. It's not long left in the game. Reggie there going for the ball. And oh my goodness, out of nothing, a snapshot from the 88. No headshots just yet. So we've got the lineup graphic looking just like this. And the team is John in goal, Brad at right back, Harry and Tolu centre back, Quam's left back, Harvey, Jordan, new signing, and Malachi in centre mid, Myra on the right, Sadiq, a new signing up top with Thomas injured, Fred on the left, and the subs are Benny, Drew, Eri, and Noah. Good day! Good day! How are you feeling today? Good, man. How are you going? I'm amazing. Do you know what it is? If I'm being honest, yeah, it's been a long time since I've been able to be here with my boys on a Sunday morning, so I'm, I'm, I'm older than me. What I'm trying to do this year is stop swearing as much. Yeah? Amen. So, <laughs> so I'm not gonna F and blind. Last year we done it, we done, we done amazing in terms of what we've done in, in this season. Doing it once means cool to me. Sorry about my language. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Doing it again means everything to me. Understanding that we have always had a target on our back, and this year it's even, it's even harder. So what I need from you though, is to understand that firstly, this year is not only do we have big things announcing, but it's also a big year for us regardless. It's also another statement year for us. We, we, we did a statement last year going on beating the SFL. Can we now do more? We are at Hackney Marshes in this white strip. This is not our actual kit. Understand that. Hacks in the black and red, and uh, the referee's just laying down the law. We are underway now, though. Uh, some of us even wearing black shorts in this game. Harry's got the ball at the back, looks forward up the pitch. It's into Harvey. Harvey brought it down just before the halfway line. Free kick. Brad sees an opportunity to take it quickly. Looks deep to the far side, and Fred's jumping there. Can't quite connect with the ball. He can't keep his foot in either. Comes to Harvey, takes it and tries to play it forward for Quams. It's cut out, comes back to Harvey. Fred keeps it alive. Harvey lets one fly, and fly it did. The ball is now on this near side. Number 23 uh, picks up possession, looks deep to the far post, brought down by the chest of the 11. Uh, Quams st sticks in a toe there. Uh, 11 tries a skill that I probably wouldn't recommend on this pitch. The ball into the box, looks like we should deal with it. John gives them a corner. That corner then, 23 on it, in swinging, met at the front post by Brad, to the edge of the box, brought down by a hack shirt. He's got a wall of white in front of him, and he can't get past it as we wriggle away. Harvey picks up possession and draws the foul too. Malachi with it, back to Bradley. Outside the boot, ricochets off the Hacks player. He tries to bring it down and fails to do so. Back to Bradley. He settles it by playing it to Harvey. Harvey tries to find Myro. It's cut out by the number five. Intercepted it very well. Showed some great feet too. Harry stepping in for UTR. Over 12 minutes played. It's a ball infield for Sadiq. The new signing clips it out left footed for Qualms to chase. Qualms up against the 77. Flies in there and it's not a great challenge at all, Qualms. UTR thrown. Over quarter of an hour gone. Jordan flicks it round the corner for Sadiq to chase. Sadiq does. Left footed, he's let it go. Not a bad strike. Brad in possession on this near side. Plays it out wide to Myro. He's got Harvey on the inside. Myro cutting inside. Can he let it go on the left foot? Oh, so John O'Shea. That's out for a throw. Ball's up in the air. Uh, challenging for it will be Jordan. He's won that. It comes across into the box to Fred. Fred lets it go. Deflected. 
and out for a corner throw, something. A long throw is taken into the box. It's uh, fallen down there and Hacks might have an opportunity to counter-attack us there. Good challenge from Harvey. Comes here to Myro. Can we do something special? Harvey's gone to the ground. Myro tries to get through the gap and actually makes his way through. Plays it into Fred. He snatched at it and he's put it wide. So far, I have to say, nothing too much has happened in this game. Tolu's strong challenge there. Very strong challenge. A scissor motion as well. Surprised he got away with it. Fred's trying to get away there and he doesn't. He wants a foul. Nothing given with Hacks on this left hand side 18 tries to tip it and see what bradley's made of harry on the cover harry makes the challenge good tackle looks to be a bit hurt but he's a strong lad and he gets up long ball's gone forward fred challenging with the 77 it's broken to sadiq here sadiq on the left foot trying to test that keeper five on the ball like i said before he's got feet plays it in there tens eased off it by sadiq sadiq driving in field sadiq against 77 that's a foul Meanwhile, Eri's still with his best friend, RJ, doing what he does best. And he's put RJ in a blender. Jordan standing over the free kick, curls it to the back post. Tolly wins the header, comes across to Sadiq. It's just wide. It's a race here to the ball for the man who took on the Black Sonic and didn't lose. It's Bradley, uh, plays it back to Myro. Myro skips away from one. Myro plays infield to Harvey, gets it back. Myro challenged by two players. Keeper makes a great save down to his left and it's still nil-nil. UTR corner, Jordan taking it, left foot into the front post, keeper drops it, people are claiming it's gone across the line, the referee sees nothing to uh, confirm that, it's played out wide here to this number 99, up against Brad, uh, Brad trying to keep him uh, on the outside, he's cut inside, played it to the 11, 11's into the box, and Quams is there, I think it might have been going wide. Myro in possession, trying to wriggle away from the challenge. Plays one deep to the back post. Fred jumping there, comes down off the 77. Fred almost gets a second bite at the cherry. That's going to be deemed a foul. Sadiq on the ball, uh, plays it out here to Harvey. He takes a good first touch. He's got Brad on the outside. Myro too. Myro stepped inside for a moment. Uh, so he's been forced out wide, but wins the free kick. Myro with the free kick, left footed. Tolu with the header, and it's wide, way wide. Hacks have the ball on the left, played in field to the number four. A lot of room afforded. He thinks about playing it out to the 11, goes for a shot instead. Myro's still loading up. He's trying to get warm at uh, number five. Not an easy player to beat. Uh, plays it in field here to Sadiq. Sadiq thinks about the shot on the left, takes it back to the right, goes through the gap. Fred shields the ball, comes through to Myro. He swipes at it. Brought down by the five, but we're never going to get that. Five for Hacks, bringing the ball into the box, up against Brad, uh, cut out well, and he's uh, played it down the line for Myro. Myro can continue the counter-attack. He's played it outside of the boot for Harvey to chase. Harvey up against the 10. Can he win this battle? Harvey takes it to the byline. He's dragged down, and that's a free kick. That will also be the first yellow card of the game for the number 10. On the free kick is Jordan, left footed, whipped to the front post, headed away by the 23. Comes down to Myro, doesn't get the touch right, and nothing happens. On this near side, nice feet from the 99, wriggles away from Myro momentarily, it's dragged him to the ground, and that is actually going to be not just a foul, but a second yellow card in this game. This referee is clearly not playing any games. Hacks, nice flick from the 11 to the number 4, uh, looks to deliver, he has. Malachi's cut out, Malachi's also cut out the 23, he's gone to ground, and that, to me, looks like a definite penalty. A little bit of a lapse of concentration there from Malachi, maybe too eager to make up uh, the ground there. And uh, to be fair, it's a nice shoulder drop from the 23, which results in a penalty for Hacks. John in goal, 11 to step up. Can he stop it? No, he can't. It's 1-0 to Hacks. He sent John the wrong way and uh, gives his team the lead. Tidy little penalty. Unfortunate, UTR have had a couple of snap uh, chances, little snapshots, but not really done anything much. And Hacks take the lead. Come back to John here, he thumps it out of play and the referee blows his whistle for the first half closing. But we have to build in the second half, we have to try and come back stronger. Not a nice blow to get just before the end of the half. First things first, it's been the worst half of us in that final third. How many chances have we had? What's our decision making been like in that final third? Not gonna, I don't need to come here and batter you lot because it's not been good enough in the final third and a mistake that that happens. It's about all of you understanding to win a game of football, you have to punish people. How many chances have we given them? Two? They've scored one. How many chances have we had in front of, in front of goal? I can't come here and say, You're, you, you need to do this better. We're finding the pockets well, and we're playing. We are playing. But in that final third, man, every one of you know how bad it's been in that, in that final third. So what we now need to do is lift our heads and stop looking deflated because we've gone one nil down. Understand this, this is a game for us to still f***ing win. Secondly, manage the game much better than that. One minute to go. Silly foul, silly... Silly. Positives, 
we've played, we've played some great passages of, of football. Can we finish our chances now? So then, into the second half, can we claw this back? 31 on the ball, uh, attempting to wriggle away from Harvey, plays it in field left footed, 23 sets it to, to the 11. Bit of a loose touch, Malachi uh, cuts in there and wins the ball back for UTR. It's come to Qualms, left footed, down to Harvey. Harvey flicks it down the line to Fred, he's held it up. Harvey tries to take it on, and ball, 77 protest is innocent. That's a free kick. Midway through their half, it gives us a free kick. Jordan on the delivery, Harry with the header, and Harry claws the goal back. It's 1-1. UTR back into the game. Pretty simple goal. Great delivery from, from Jordan as well on his debut and assist on his debut too. And Harry, six foot something. He's like 20 years of age, looking like 28. And uh, he gets the goal back for us. Leaves his marker if there ever was one. And it's 2-2 now. Packs then have a free kick of their own, just inside their half. Qualms trying to body up against the 11, needs to be careful here. Qualms clips the 11, he goes to the ground, is that inside or outside? It looked like inside to me, the linesman's flag two. Very clumsy from Qualms there. We know he loves the challenge, we know he loves to battle, but I don't think that's the right way to do it. That looks to me like a definite penalty. Bodied up on him there, and it's just that little kick out there, quite unnecessary, he's going away from goal. A bit silly there. Uh, the linesman to see giving him that motion and he's definitely not missed that one penalty that gives the 11 the opportunity to get a second of the game and he does just that going the right way this time john but still not able to stop it 2-1 to hacks they're back in front more work to do for utr stepped up confidently didn't do a start at this time they just placed it past john coming back to us Brad takes a swipe at it, goes into Harvey. Harvey tries to control it, needs to be careful that there's not a high foot there. He's done well to keep possession. Fred's making a run. It's a loose pass. Harvey's not happy with it, but Fred keeps it alive. He comes here to Sadiq in the box. Sadiq right footed into the bottom corner and it's 2-2. Goals are starting to fly in in this game now. Sadiq still complaining about the pass from Harvey, but he scored the goal and that's all that matters for us right now. It's 2-2, game on. Harvey here, cut inside. Sadiq wanted the ball. You can see him uh, asking for it. 77, not quite sure what he's tried to do there. Fred finds the beak. He takes a touch to set himself and the second to place it into the bottom corner. 2-2. Two, two. So then, plenty more time in this game for goals. Jordan does well to cut out the 31's dribble. Uh, can he see a pass to the left? Freddie does. Fred's in the box now, plays it to the back post. Myro's there for the header. It's a tame header. The goalkeeper's able to save it. Back into Hack's half. Um, it's Fred bringing it down. Harvey looking deep. Harvey plays the ball in behind for Myro. Skip the four. Myro puts it into the back of the net, but to me, it looked like he might have been marginally offside. Uh, we're going to get a second look at it. Linesman sure of his decision. The referee backs it and that is not going to stand. But Harvey got his head up. Myro looks to me on that pause clip. He is offside. Despite his uh, innocence that he's protesting there, that's offside, Myro. Still 2-2. Two -two. Tolu has it at the back. Strokes the ball up the pitch. Left footed for Sadiq to chase. Uh, Sadiq looking to get onto it. 18 looking to buy this time. Sadiq cuts it inside. Takes it on his right foot and fires it with the right foot in at the near post. The goalkeeper couldn't get close enough to that to stop it. And how many goals have, scored, have been scored in this... Uh, Second half, I think that might be four goals. Four goals scored in the second half. It was 1-0, 1-1. One, one. So 1-1 one, one was the second half, 2-1, 2-2, uh, two, two, and 3-2. Three, two. That's four goals. And Sadiq getting two of them. Ready to run down this channel at all times, as we can see. And he's making a mark on his debut. Cuts inside, away from the 18. He's not put up much of a challenge, to be fair. And uh, the goalkeeper can't stop it at the near post.
We're gonna make some changes. Fred and Myro off the pitch. It's gonna be Eri and Drew taking to the field. Uh, Drew with the cut socks at the back. You know, he means business. So then, 3-2, can we hold on to this lead now? It's out wide here to Eri, one-on-one -on -one with the 18. Didn't want it with Sadiq and probably doesn't want to see Eri either. Eri, uh, ball rolling it, going towards the box. Eri, ball rolls it again, lets it go. And at the near post like Sadiq, but this, this time it's actually saved. Eri also taking the corner, are my eyes deceiving me? Into the front post, headed away by the 77 and further up the pitch. They haven't made the best job of clearing their lines. Harry wins it back, he's got players in the middle. Harvey's one of them, toes it into the net. And that looks like it might be 4 2. Wheels off in celebration. They're contesting something. I think they're calling for an offside. Let's, let's see if the officials back that decision. It is the linesman flagging. He's pointing to someone saying that it might be offside. What is happening? This goal could be chalked off here. Harvey was in the right position to score a goal, but was he onside or offside? Harry wins it back. Yeah, he's offside. He's offside there. It's quite clear. And another goal chalked off, but rightly so. So then, we have to keep going. It's in here from Qualms to Jordan. Jordan's managed to somehow wriggle his way out of that situation and play the ball to Malachi. Packs are down a goal. They want an extra player. He doesn't want to play though. More substitutions. Harvey off for Benny. Noah on for Sadiq. Let's see if we can increase the scoreline. So played up the pitch, cut out there by uh, Jordan initially. Also, I think the second one is actually a foul. Nothing given by the referee allows play to go on. I think that's definitely a foul. Just my opinion though. Yeah, we continue playing anyway. It's uh, Noah and Benny combining the two subs. Benny, can he get a shot off? And stop there. Tax free kick, 11 takes it. Looking for the hat trick, deflected and into John's hands. We've played one into their box, headed away. Only as far as Drew, takes a touch to set himself. Second to fly. And uh, the goalkeeper saves it with his legs, coming like David De Gea. Man United need him, Hacks might too, as the ball drops into the box. Falls back to Drew, and he places it into the bottom corner. It's 4-2. I did that, and it rhymed. I, that happens all the time. because I'm talking so fast, it just sounds like I'm rapping. I need to stop. Drew doing the celebration like he would do on FIFA, because he's a sweat, playing champs probably as we speak. But that's 4-2, and the goal gap has been increased. Good strike initially, saved with the goalkeeper's legs right back into the air. Uh, they haven't dealt with it. Drew missed the first header. Dropped in there. Tolu bodied up. And it fell back to Drew. He placed it like a prime. Thierry Henry. That's 4-2. Substitution. Jordan's putting a great shift. Harvey makes his way back onto the pitch. It's roll on roll off, remember. Packs with the ball. Midway through their half. Trying to find a way past the UTR shirts. They failed to do so. Mistake at the back. Harvey, left footed. Past the goal. Both of them even. Wow, Harvey, I put my money on you to score that, but he's failed to do so. He wouldn't want to see that again. Back into our half, it's number 10 on the ball. Trying to find a bit of room there. Does, it's a good strike. Great save from John. Battle for possession between Tolu and a Hacks player there, the number two I think that is. Tolu wins the battle and draws the foul as well. And surely that's gonna be a yellow card. At least this referee has been consistent, very consistent. So then we have a free kick, a couple of people standing over it. I don't know why they're acting like it's on the edge of the box. Harry's gone to, Harry's gone to go for goal and Harry has caught the goalkeeper out. That is 5-2. What on earth has happened there? Even the 10 can't believe it. He's like, what's going on? Why is he shot from the, look at the 10's face? He can't believe it. Harry getting his second of the game. And he's trying to be our top scorer this season. What is going on? Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. We need to see this. Even the guy on the phone's like, oh my gosh, they've just scored from the halfway line. He's like, oh my gosh, they've scored from the halfway line. Bradley's trying to take some credit for it or something there. Harry spotted the keeper not paying attention the keepers even look back like where am i and he gets a hand to it not a strong hand and that is 5-2 a goal from inside his own own half it's not even the halfway line it's inside his own half jeez coming like david beckham Nineteen minutes have been played. We're into the 91st. It's Eri's left footed ball across the box. Drew connects with it. It's blocked by the nine. I don't know if it was going over the goalkeeper or not. We've taken that corner short. It's Noah on the ball. Noah, the rainbow flick over the number two. He's been pulled back and surely that's got to be a foul. Noah pointing to himself saying he's taken it and he must do after that. What on earth is going on? I know we're winning 
But to do this, man said, calm down. I got something for you. He's coming like he's got Trickstar Plus. Oh my gosh. And surely, surely he's got to convert this penalty anyway. After that, he has to. Let's see it one more time. Goodness. It's the Neymar one as well. Oh, God. no one, no one, no one, no one, no one. There's no need for that. No need for that. John's got his hand up trying to take the penalty. What, what, what is going on here? Anyway, um, after that, everyone's still stunned on the sidelines. Myra is so stunned, he got dressed. Anyway, Noah steps up. Noah's hit the post. Comes back to him, surely. Just tap it in, tap it in. Noah, Noah! Oh, Noah! Oh, yeah, just, yeah, don't, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Man turned from Neymar to Icardi in five seconds. Well, what a crazy end to the game. The referee blows the final whistle. I'd like to shout out the referee as well, because I'd like to think he was very unbiased, uh, very consistent and uh, made the right decisions all the way through. Even his uh, official officiating team as well, the linesman as well, did a pretty good job, uh, which is rare to see in Sunday League, I have to say. But yeah, Noah, he's not gonna sleep tonight. We will though, 5-2 victory, and it's a good way to start the season campaign. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Keep coming back for more Sunday League. We've got it coming for you all season round. And if you have anything that you wanna tell us to do better in these videos or change, let us know, we'll try and adapt, but yeah. Check out the UTR channel, check out all the UTR socials in the description. We'll catch you guys soon.